All right, this is my Yamaha F310 guitar that I got here. I wanted you to see how I'm going to put something on the back of it. And um, anyways, we're going to see how this here turns out. There it is all taped off. Here's the back finish. It doesn't really look all that good. Somebody spray painted it or something. Here goes another little thing. The back side after the strings are off and everything. I'm going to take it out in the shed. I'm going to show you a quick little video and then I'll come back with a problem that I had. All right, I want to talk a little bit about this guitar I'm fixing to redo. And um, somebody got this guitar right here. It's a Yamaha F310. There's the front all taped off. And um, they, I don't know. I guess they spray painted it or something. I don't like the finish. Don't mind my shit in here. It's a mess. Anyways, I started sanding this right here at 500. And I wanted you to see how you could see these real thin scratch marks in this okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this right here it's a neotan and I'm gonna wipe that down with a rag nice and simple the majority of these here will go away because I use 500 sandpaper just so and it was a fine grit uh, so I didn't have to worry about scratches being in there I'm not gonna fix every little dent and ding like these here because I'm gonna paint a big mural on the back of this right here it's gonna be a, a, a snow leopard it's gonna look really good but anyways, I want to show you the paint that I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use this Rosolium White right here. A lot of people ain't, you know, too happy with this paint. I am. I like it. It's an enamel-based paint. I'm going to use this here for thinning it. And I am going to use this right here for my hardener. Now, two negatives. Right now, it's January the 3rd. Um... 2016 it's 48 degrees outside in Florida which is ridiculous for painting I should never even attempt it as you can see I got my heater on over there right now but anyways um, I'm not going to do live video while I'm doing this here because I don't want to get paint all over my camera I, I have to keep my door right here closed on my shed so it's going to get real smoky in here but what I will do is stop periodically and take steel pictures and I will add them to this video so that you could see but anyways Rust-Oleum paint Neopan for the thinner and this hardener right here which is a fisheye eliminator and um, it also reduces the dry time dramatically basically in a paint gun I'm going to use probably about this much paint I'll put hardener I mean um, Neopan in there too about right there and then I'll add just a little bit of hardener. Um, I'm not going to need a whole lot of paint for this. Um, I'm going to do it in three different phases. White. Then I'm going to do my mural black. And then I'm going to fade black around it. And it'll look really good. Um, I paint all the time. So this is nothing new for me. But anyways, I just wanted people to see what I'm going to do. So that you could see. Alright, this is Edwin. Y'all have a blessed day. Alright, now this video that I'm showing you right now. The pictures. Um, I decided not to go with that. Um, I wanted to do a religious theme instead. So I hand drew on a picture and then I took it and I used the carbon paper and put it onto the back of the guitar. There it is as I'm darkening it in. Obviously all the way around it. Then I really wasn't happy with it so I decided to black all the guitar in. I wasn't happy with that right there so I blackened it in a little bit more. Then I decided to make it look like it was being tore out of the guitar, you know, just to give it a little bit of detail. The weather is just too crazy right now to go into a lot of detail because of hardening and this, that, and the other. So I added a little bit of blood in there and a little bit of yellow on the, the thorns, made it stand out some. Then I decided I was going to put praying hands on it. Now, this is where I put my first coat of thinner on there. And the thinner, it messed up the, it pulled some of the paint off because, you know, it wasn't efficiently dry yet. So I had to re-sand it down, add more to it, and then put a different picture on. So I just threw me a rebel flag on there just for giggles. But anyways, this is a video of how I did it. And I will, you know, bring the guitar out, let you hear it now that it's all strung back up, and then post a second video with it. And you'll be able to hear it and see that the quality of the sound is still there. So I hope y'all like it. Subscribe, send me a text, send me an email, let me know what you think. Y'all take it easy and have a blessed day. This is Edwin. This is a Yamaha F310. Thank you.